take It's supposed to go both ways This broken heart is hardly worth Hey, good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen Yes, it is a good morning Especially on what just happened We got us a reload offer, yes And we're gonna go to uh, A place just south of Detroit Pick up a load over there And then we're uh, Going to Toronto with it well, part of Toronto, I guess you could say. It's basically uh, Brampton, Ontario, where we're going to. So it's a very nice load. I appreciate that. It's going to give me some decent miles. I'm going to get to go see Master about a steak again. Yeah, that makes me happy, happy, happy. Now we're out of here, we got unloaded here. Took him about an hour to get me unloaded, or 45 minutes I guess. Well, he didn't come right away, right? So that's probably why it took a little bit longer yet. But usually about half an hour, 45 minutes, this place has got us unloaded up here, so that's good. We got 154 miles to go before we get to our pickup location. So we'll hammer down to our pickup. And then we'll uh, make our way to Toronto, right? That's the plan anyways. We'll see how good that plan will work out. But yeah, that's the plan for right now. So let's make our way down there and uh, see what happens. Well guys, we are now 28 miles from our pickup. Yes, that's correct. We're in the uh, Detroit, Michigan area, and I'm kind of keeping an eye on this car hauler there. Look at him, uh, how he's doing. Or he's definitely big time distracted there. I don't know, keeping an eye on him there to make sure that I don't get myself in trouble there, but <laughs> he keep waving in and out of the lane there, so yeah, that's not good. Definitely not a good sign for us truckers. Uh, looks like he's found what he was looking for. Now he's keeping it between the lines. But yeah. Anyways, we got uh, 27 more miles to go, and then we'll be uh, we'll be at our pickup and get our load on. Hopefully, they want to load me right away, and then we're going to Toronto. Yeah, beautiful sunshine again today. I love it. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, that's for sure. And Manitoba right now, apparently it's raining over there, so we're gonna try and stay away from there. We're gonna go to Master State first. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan anyways. So we'll see uh, we'll see how it works out, right? Yeah guys, we have just gotten our load on. It didn't even take him that long to get it on, so that was awesome news. I like it. Now we're hammered down to Toronto. We'll be there tonight. Looks like around 8 o'clock Eastern Time, I'm thinking we'll be there. So that's about 7 o'clock uh, Manitoba time. And I got a message from uh, Safety Department this morning saying that uh, next time I come home, I have to get my electronic log installed, so uh, guess what? I guess uh, they really want me to get her done because uh, they already scheduled me a load to go home. Yeah, oh well, what can I say? They want me to go drop this load at, uh, I guess, Brampton there and then uh, take an empty and go over to Windsor, Ontario and then uh, do a trailer switch up there and then go back to Steinbach. So we got quite a few miles ahead of us uh, ahead of us yet. It looked like it was 3,300 kilometers from where I was at this morning in Midland to go here, go to Toronto, go to Windsor, pick that up, go back to Steinbach. That's about 3,300 kilometers. So, uh, yeah, we got our work cut out for us. That's right. So, all right, let's see if we can 
move over here. There's a broke down truck or something here on the shoulder. So we're going to give him space or her, whatever it is. Yeah, I like to move over when there's a vehicle on the shoulder if I can. But yeah, so that's Hammer Down. Make our way to Toronto. And uh, we'll see if I can actually drop this tonight or not. I'll go find out probably. If I can, I'll drop it tonight. If not, then uh, I guess I'll drop it tomorrow morning. Well, come back to Canada, ladies and gentlemen. We are now in Windsor, Ontario. Yeah, that's correct. And we got about three and three quarter hours to go till we get uh, to Toronto to our delivery. So we got a hammer down, hammer down. It's two o'clock central time, three o'clock eastern time right now. So yeah, good thing it looks like we'll be there around seven, 715 if we don't make any pit stops which I do believe I am going to make a pit stop later on I'm kind of getting a little bit of hung hungry so uh, I might stop somewhere and just grab me a quick bite to eat or something like that I do have stuff in the bag and can make me a quick sandwich and I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna make me a quick sandwich and then uh, Continue to Toronto. Yes. We'll go have master steak tonight. That's right. And then uh, we'll go find out, I guess, if we can deliver this load and all that good stuff. But yeah, I timed it perfectly here for border crossing today. It seemed like it. Not too much traffic going on out here today. There's like only one truck ahead of me, and I could have been right into the booth, but. Because I had a fast load, this load is a fast load, I had to be in the fast lane, right? And there was one truck ahead of me there, but man, it didn't take long. We were through there, and here we are, gone. Got a few more lights, and we'll be back on the big road again, and we'll hammer down towards Toronto. I am now in Mississauga, Ontario. Yes, I am. I'm over here at the Husky truck stop. And I went in and had me a good steak and uh, had me a very good shower. Yeah, now we're ready to go for the next day again. So, we have gotten us a reload and uh, that picks up in Windsor, Ontario. And then we will be going to Steinbach with that load. So. Uh, Anyways, I figure I close off the show for today. Appreciate you guys watching. I will see you on the next one. This has been Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.